Hello, and welcome to the Cowboy for Game Yu-Gi-Oh! podcast. I'm your host, Jake. Today, I'm joined by Brag from Braggio. Hey. And Ben from Northern DCG. Also what Marie. was that fucking sass and ma- fucking mouthing? Because he was talking when he started. You cut him off. Well, if you go back and listen, he's talking listen about a pogo very plus plus. closely. It's fine. If you it's not about very Yu-Gi-Oh! Very closely. We're here about Yu-Gi-Oh! Speaking of which, yeah. Brag, what'd you get up to this week? A uh, bunch of Master Jewel uh, mm-hmm. starting the new season. Uh, to get coins to play Val, uh, gem, sorry, to play Valmonica, I need to uh, play Snake Eyes on rank. <laughs> the duality and, of man. And, and I have to play meta to play jank. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so, just trying to get through that. I even gone, oh, I could just do the story modes. I got angry at one last night. The Planet Patrol one was actually pretty cool. Fine, yeah, the Planet but... Patrol one's alright. Yeah, that story was um, A-OK. Uh, Wait, does that mean you're doing, doing solo modes without me? Oh, no. No, it's alright, I'm proud. But pretend I'm angry so you keep doing them. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so, yeah. Uh, I don't know if I need a third poplar. We have to think that, like, it's going to have uh, to be... A, uh, with, the, with the one and one. And, yeah, uh, it's maybe. like, it's going to be an interesting time coming up. I might have to buy a third in real life whenever we start getting the hits. Uh, Beep. Yeah. So right, the tins will be out by then. Uh, otherwise, didn't touch... Here's the thing, Jake. It was printed this year. The tins don't cover anything oh, that was printed yeah, this year? No, no. no. The no. printers ah. don't cover, cover any cards that are yeah. released this year. What the fuck's the point of the tins? <laughs> We're getting Rescue Ace reprints this year, Jake. <laughs> yeah, that, I, I the, feel like they should include the. They should start trying to include that February pack. They used is, to, yeah. And then they took it away. Yeah, yeah. Every every year we get further from God. Remember back when they released Bosch and they're like Solemn Strike. Let's get it in the same year as Megatins. Even though anyone who knew oh. about those boxes already has their set Dr. and multiple Schroeder. more, don't put it in the megatins. In once again, going back to my salty twenty sixteen, the fa- like that's the only case I've ever bought into, like in the whole of Yu Gi Oh. Bosch, the one that they just hammered to death. Screw you, Jerome. A lot mm. of good commons in that set. Oh yeah, a lot of good super res. Mm. How about you? Do you want to go to you? you wanna- you can go oh next. sure. You never go second. I rarely go second. Yeah. So he always wins the Daryl mm. <laughs> <laughs> and chooses to go third. <laughs> <laughs> Third's the best option. Um, so lately, I've been playing Tier Element because um, Horus Stun was becoming boring, and everyone at locals sort of knew how to play around it. Um, so it was time to change. Um, it is taking me a little bit to get used to twenty twenty four tier. Uh, cause a few times I've gone to make a fusion when it really was not time to make a fusion yet. Because like, those fusions are banned. <laughs> well, no, I obviously can't make that fusion, but like I was making fusions because a tier element had hit the grave, but when current runs a tier make me- first fusion. <laughs> yes. But now you kind of have to wait until more stuff is in the grave to make other stuff. Yeah. So I'm getting a little trick happy. But today I played all right. Um, I think it was like a 2-2 two, two, uh, day to day. Um, I was just like going second into some boards when you're playing a deck that doesn't have hand traps. It's like, oh. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> the light. <laughs> oh, sad light. <laughs> oh, okay. <sighs> Brakes got us fixed. You got to unscrew in the uh, time, yeah. There we go. Happy light. Um, so yeah, Best going second brag. into boards that like you can't stop, like you just kind of have to let them go, is a bit rough. Um, old tier didn't have this problem. Old tier would just start playing on the opponent's turn, and it'd be able to resolve seventeen different card effects. If we still had old tier though, there would be many a problem. Oh man, maybe it wouldn't be a problem. Would Ben still be playing the game? Yeah, probably. probably. Wouldn't be happy about it though. <laughs> You'd be playing Rescue Ace again. Go Ace. Rescue Ace was the secret uh, tier above tier zero. No one realised it yet. Yeah. That's it's... why I won locals in full power tier. Because <laughs> <laughs> I had no idea what the cards did. Um, other than that, I've got some other cards to make some spice in the next couple of days. So I'm looking forward to putting that together. Well, actually, I'm not looking forward to putting it together. I'm looking forward to playing it. I wish there was like some magic that happened that put the deck together for me and then I would just be able to take it to locals oh, but go. I have to yeah 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 I just want to alakazam the deck together you go home you look at your bulk, your bulk and you go <laughs> my bulk 
<laughs> and you just hope that when you can't wait till my wake brother, up in the morning, it's there. I can't wait till my brother comes in checking if I'm ready for dinner. I'm just standing over a bulk box going... <laughs> <laughs> um, I almost did that to get the gimmick puppets. I had, like, dove through a few boxes, couldn't find them, and then just... Voila! Um, and then, yeah, working out what I'm going to be playing moving forward. I've gotten some Fiend stuff. I've gotten... Like, I've got a bunch of things I could play in the upcoming format post Infinite Forbidden. Just need to work out what I want to focus on. Like, it's really no stakes. Like, for the next six ish months, there's really nothing to play for. Mm. Just topping OTS champs. That's the only play for the next six months. Pretty much. Um, I'm going to go all in, try and get try and top for the very first one of Infinite Forbidden format. And then not really care for the rest of the year. That, that's the dream, right? Because that's the first... The invite that I had from three years ago, that's how it happened for me. I topped the very first event of the season and then just stopped trying. Look how far you've fallen. I know. You stopped trying altogether. Yeah, I know. Like, Little I, did you know, your stopped trying would then feed into two years of not being allowed to play Yu-Gi-Oh! Also, you said you topped the last season um, three years ago. Jake, that was five years ago. That was November 2019. Yeah, it was. Yeah. But anyway. Um, but yeah, need to work out what to focus on. But yeah, we'll see how we go. Um, also, I recorded a box opening uh, for the Battles of Legend. Uh, Tom's recording was far, far better, so I didn't end up filming it to brag. But I did pull the Phantom of Your Bell, so I was oh, very happy about that. I still need your footage from you as well. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I'll take it. I'll smash the other, the one I didn't use his together and just uh, whip up something. Gib, 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 gib. Okay, that's fine. Look at Jake's rejects on TikTok. <laughs> um, yeah, I think that's about where I'm at. Oh, and also playing Master Duel, still playing Hawkist. Um, still very fun. Ben. My week in Yu-Gi-Oh. Okay, um, so I'm playing Rescue Ace. Cool. Ace. Um, I don't know if Jake knew that when he made that Rescue Ace reference earlier. Um, no, I, I was sitting next to you at one point today. I did see that you were playing Rescue Ace. Yes. Which round was that? Uh, last round? Oh, that's fine then. I played. I played that at that point. Yeah. I drew cards that worked. Uh, because much like the rest of my locals today, I did not see like cards that worked a lot. Um, but on Tuesday, I went pretty well. Uh, made the final. I uh, lost the final to Leo. Eventually, I bricked. Um, Tuesday was great. Like, every hand I saw was insane. And then, like, Game three of the final, I was like, trap, trap, uh, preventer, preventer. Uh, then it was like Snake Eyes Oak. I was just like, well, this is the point when I've been betrayed. <laughs> Oak is so good until he's by himself. Yes, which is what I opened today. Yeah. I drew Oak a lot. Um, and then there was one point when I had manipulated my position. It was against Kurt. I had manipulated my positioning so that I had like... I had Ash Poplar in hand, and I was like, it's okay, as long as I don't draw my other Poplar. And then I drew it for turn. <laughs> Sick. Awesome. Three Poplar time. I find, I have the same issue with drawing Happy. Yeah. I draw Happy a lot. This also happened at Oceanics as well. My first loss, I, game three, had, like, my, well, back and forth in a Snake Eyes mirror, and going back into like my counter swing I had stopped my opponent so he just ended on like IP and he had like IP Oak or maybe IP Poplar and I was like it's okay I just need to not top deck the one Poplar that's left in my deck I have normal summon Snake Eyes Ash I win top deck's the only Poplar that was left in my deck I was like, shit um so yeah I I'm definitely not gonna play Rescue Ace for a little while. I just wanted to play it this week while we kind of have this short little transition period before getting Infinite Forbidden. True. Um, so I'm going to play something else, probably the next two locals. And by the next two locals, the next one locals because we've got a sneak peek and they are oh no, it's two locals because we can't play the cards that the, t the locals yeah, yeah. after. So I need to build a deck for two locals. Um, not sure what it's going to be yet. That'll be tonight's adventure. Um, after I finish vacuuming with a shiny new vacuum that I brought today. That's yes. right. Welcome to the uh, 30 year old podcast. I was going to um, say, Ben has officially reached his 30s because yeah, he's excited about a vacuum. We're nearing it. We're about a couple months away. Um, and today although, I bought a vacuum queen. Although he's done the anti iPhone thing and not bought a Dyson stick vacuum? No, because they would double the price. Um, I'm pretty sure the quality's gone down as well. Yeah. Like we'll the only Dyson I've ever owned broke 
like very quickly. Maybe because it was like chewing dog hair constantly. But there is that. Yeah, it broke there very quickly. Um, so I bought a Samsung vacuum. Yes. Um, you bought an LG vacuum. Yes, you fucking say, moron. Oh, sorry. <laughs> the Samsung vacuum is the one that I went there to buy. Um, so I got there. The other day I went to JB Hi-Fi and I took photos of all the vacuums. And I was like, I might buy this one. And I did my research and I was like, I'm going to buy the Samsung. And then I got there and I was like, fuck, I forgot to take a photo of that LG. So then I was searching the price at the, like the LG reviews online. And then it was like, this is currently on sale for like almost half the price. And I was like, oh, they just don't have a sign up saying that this vacuum cleaner is half price. I'll buy this one. <laughs> Screw selling $500 on a vacuum. Yeah. Got that one for cheap. Um, I've used it a little bit, and it certainly vacuums. That's um, better than the last two. Tune in next week for uh, the latest utensil that I buy. Um, it won't be a vacuum, pretty but sure. I will give you feedback yeah, on the vacuum. Yeah, I'm sure we're getting to this later in the podcast. Yes, we are. Okay. Uh, so, moving on to some news, we begin with Master Duel. Uh, so, for those that have been logging in over the last couple of days, you will have noticed they have the uh, new Triad Duel going at the moment. Yeah, I, kind of, I, I just looked and went, I don't even want this pack, no. I mean, I did it and then got out. Like, this was not a uh, fun thing. What was so it? So, it is the Skull Invitation uh, no Extreme Duel. No, just activates. Yeah, it's, each player has a copy of Skull Invitation. Every card that's sent to the graveyard, you take 300. You can't send that skull invitation to the bin, can you? Yes, you can. Oh, oh, so so the you very first yeah. match that yeah. I got into, so my opponent just played it. Snake Eyes, yeah. fucked it off, <laughs> summoned SP, fucked mine off, and I was like... Oh, at least you got rid of yours. I just wanted to play Manifest! I didn't want cards in my graveyard! <laughs> I just wanted to have fun! Son of a bitch! <laughs> I was so pissed off. <laughs> uh, See, so yeah, I did my thing and I got out. Um, other than that, we've got a new wallpaper of a uh, Mc no, not Macunka. What's the other thing? Shino Bird. Uh, oh, Shino oh, Bird. Yeah, background. Yeah, yeah. I remember being angry last night. The fourth best deck in Yu-Gi-Oh. Shino Birds is the fourth be best deck of every format. There's no one digs deep enough in the format to figure it out. I oh, see so just saying they skip fourth and move on to like fifth, sixth, yes. seventh, eighth, ninth, yeah, yeah, tenth, eleventh, yeah. twelfth, thirteenth, fourteenth, fifteenth, and then sixteenth yes. best decks. Yes. Fourth is never explored. They never explore the fourth. Because people only either want to be top three or they want to be interesting. So fourth never gets played. Were they in Bosch? No. 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 Maximum Crisis was the first yeah. printing so, shooting yeah. birds, I believe. Or or Raging Tempest. The only time I've lost to them is uh, the three days. At the pre release? Yep. <laughs> no, no, no. It, was, it wasn't the pre release. It was before the release. And I still lost to them. So someone was illegally playing them on a Tuesday night. Yeah, it's like, oh, it's just criminals. Shino, it's just Shino birds. I'm like, oh, okay, so if I just start using cards in the next set, what would you say then? Huh? I think I know who you're talking about, too. <laughs> um, so, yeah, Lachlan. I have a. <laughs> Well, Shino Bird's way too big brain for him. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean they leave the field? Um, so the new dual pass has begun as well. Uh, so usual sort of thing. I think this one's 700. What's, what's the wallpaper? Uh, so the wallpaper you get is uh, Fire King Garunix. Oh, of course. I did indeed unlock the mate. Oh, oh you got it? Previous dual pass, yes. Good lad. Good I lad. got to like 90 and then stopped because they removed Edison again. And I was like, bye-bye. <laughs> So yeah, uh, at level uh, 25, you get a little uh, Garunix, baby Garunix, uh, little yep. icon. Uh, and then at 25, you get a lime-coloured icon surround. What hit did we get to Viking on the ban list, by the way? None. None. Just the snake eyes. Yeah, just snake eyes. Which... No, in real life. Oh. None. None. <laughs> I, so, trying to pull the Valmonica cards with a few uh, the, the gems I had left over after I spent the yeah, rest yeah. of them. So, sorry, continue. Uh, I kept pulling Fire King cards, and there's no way I'm hell I'm playing Fire Kings and like just I'm not doing it. I'm like, I'm like, this would be great if I was you know wanted to play properly. Yeah. So the thing that I've found with that particular selection pack, if you go into it with a mindset that you want one thing, it gives you a metric fuck ton of yeah. the other. I play set of Kirins, like it's like a perfect thing. I'm like, well, I'm not fucking running these, so get out. It's weird though, because from what I, I can see, yeah. Viking Snake Eyes is like the current meta in yeah. uh, Master Duel. I'll never Very accept good it. Deck. Not anymore. Yeah, it's it's good. I just I don't know. I hate it. I feel like that deck's gonna be really good into side decks. 
Like with no side deck. Oh yeah. I'll still just play pure. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, and then at level 75, the mate that you're getting on this pass is Bonfire. Yep. You literally get a stick with fire. It's a pretty good stick. And, and, sorry, a bowl for the fire. Oh, a bowl, you say? A bowl. Hmm. It's a bowl with holes, but still. What's the cat that's with Bonfire in the... Uh, watch cat. Yeah. Couldn't they just give him this watch cat? That'd be cool. Bonfire. With bonfire. Well, how do you think they started the bonfire? Um, how did the didn't fire realize. start? Didn't realise. Uh, well, we didn't start it. I didn't mind the Fallout Boy one. I don't know if I've ever listened to the whole version. Well, it's, I mean, it's out, of, it's out of order, so it made people angry. Yeah. Was it Joseph Why, Stalin what? started the fire? <laughs> I mean... The he may have started a fire. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Um, also, oh wait, yeah, also a nice duel. Uh, they have an update to the competitive scene. So, as of this season, season 31, uh, they've added a new feature, uh, which is the rating duels. So, once you are at Master 1, uh, you then go into a separate tier, um, or rather your duels will rank you. Apparently you can choose not to be in them if you don't want to be. But um, you'll basically get a rating of, uh, I think, 1,500 points to start with. And then, depending on your wins and losses, you change. And there will apparently be a defined ladder, ladder of who is where. So, so I saw some people complaining about this being a uh, dick measuring contest for tryhards. At which point I went, ah, oh, yes, your opinion is invalid. <laughs> <laughs> Look, I can understand... That's the whole point. Well, yeah. <laughs> you're playing ranked for a reason there, buddy. Yeah, but I can understand the frustration of casual players to some extent because I look through some of the they're, rooms... They're not getting sh- that high anyway. Sh- 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 like... Oh, they are. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the, I think the issue for them is that, like, they want their own little thing and they, like... they for Like, there are the militant casuals that are, like... <laughs> For lack of a better term, the they La just. <laughs> <laughs> so, I don't understand that level of it, where it's like, no, it should only ever be casual. It shouldn't ever be competitive. No, everyone gets to do their own thing. So there is ranked if you want ranked, and there is casual matches if you want casual matches. Mm. Like that was an integration they brought in months ago. Mm. But I can understand their frustration to some extent because, uh, as part of your daily things, you have to watch a duel. And every so often I'll jump into the casual rooms just to see what's going on. And I see these poor blue eyes and dark magician and fucking other bastards paired up against snake eyes and cash Tira just from like the icons of the decks they're bursting. And I'm like, okay, I kind of get like why you're frustrated because the competitive players just use the casual rooms as like a test run for whatever builds they're doing. So that it doesn't affect their actual rankings. Like, I'm going to try it with the third poplar in droplets and stuff. And this poor Dark Magician dude's just got to suffer through his testing. Okay, Fidel. (laughs) I'm not saying that I agree with it. Like I said, they have their place. The people that want to actually compete and get a rank, they have their place. It's fine. I'm just saying that I can empathize with them to some extent as to why they're frustrated but i don't agree with the whole like going on a rant about and saying it shouldn't exist i was going to make it i don't speak spanish joke but i don't know if the if the cubans speak spanish portuguese or cuban well you can eliminate one of those options because i don't believe cuban is a language of its own that was why i included it because i just wasn't <laughs> sure <laughs> Comment uh, below what, what language is spoken in Cuba. And then in that language, tell Jake, okay, Fidel. <laughs> I think it might just end up being okay, Fidel. <laughs> to be honest, I don't think it changes that much. <laughs> okay, so we have some more announcements from Rage of the Abyss, which I've um, As Jake told- realised today. It has, has like barely been announced. 30% of its total cards announced and it's releasing on the 27th. Mm-hmm. Like there it's is a, a lot that we don't know yet. It's going to be a big week. Uh, There's still time for them to put mermails in. Still time for them to bring out more support for uh, Fiendsmith. Given well, actually, that we're still getting 
Whitewood support. Yeah, so speaking of, the first one that I want to bring up today is a new quick play spell for the White Woods, uh, the Fiend of the White Woods. Uh, tribute a Synchro Monster, target a face-up monster, uh, face-up card on the field, negates effects, so it's slightly better than I thought, uh, until the end of this turn. Then if you tributed a White Woods Synchro Monster at activation, you can special summon one Illusion Monster from your graveyard. Cute. Very cute. Um, and I then... I didn't realise that deck interacts with Illusions. Yeah, I think their spell casters and illusions. I think they've got never um, just dear bulls as um, illusion. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I just still wasn't certain on. What are you certain on, Ben? Oh, do we really go there? No, actually, no. Second effect. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> Second effect. Uh, if this card is sent to the graveyard to activate monster effect, set this card. Okay. Sure. Yeah. Yep. Just. Good generic synchro support for one. You can mm. just play it as like a negate. But they um, don't have sinful spoils in any of their games, do they? Uh, one of them does, I think. Okay. The what one are, that summons yeah. from deck, I think. Oh, really? Because you yeah. can play. Can you play Diabels and Diabels stuff? It, from what I from what I remember, no. Okay. It may need further research, but Kurt seems to think there is some loose synergies. Oh, I mean, you bloody fucking hope so. Have a look. I mean, Dear Bell Star herself is a spellcaster, which Char. aligns with it. Dear Bell's got... is the illusion. Yeah. Aren't they making out on one of the cards? Uh, I'm going to say no and move on. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> the original <is> sin. <laughs> so That's where all the law has been getting us to. <laughs> Lesbians. All the law. <laughs> So, uh, also announced from Major Rage of Abyss, uh, we have a new Tempai spell card. Uh, this is a continuous spell. Uh, um, Sangan Furo is the name, apparently. Good attempt. I respect it. I've done better. Uh, so, once per turn when a monster or monsters is destroyed by battle involving your fire dragon monster, target one of those destroyed monsters, special summon to your field and in defense position. During your opponent's end phase, you can pay 1,000 life points, then target one Sangan spell trap in your graveyard, set it, but then banish it if it leaves the field. Good for the mirror. I think it's just good in general. Like, you're not ban- burning through your quick play spells like they yeah. set themselves. It's kind of like um, Summon's multi-roll. Summon's defense position, that's the only thing. Oh, the summon back is, like, neither here nor there. Like, it can protect you in some matchups where, like, something might come back and be a pain in the ass. But yeah. I think more so the recursion is just good for the reason I pointed out. You're just not burning through a lot of your stuff. It just seems like a card <clears> that <throat> forces diversity in the extra deck. To be able to synchro into anything, because you know you can bring back anything. Mm. Also, you're locked to dragons. Sometimes. Sometimes. Not all the time. But sometimes. Not all the time. Bring back your opponent's Druid Swarm and then put in the bin and then have their Druid Swarm send your shit. Strategy. Mm. But yeah, um, it's just disappointing that they keep getting support. <laughs> they got two cards, Jake. Yeah, but I don't want them to. <laughs> How many cards did Branded get? Yeah, but they're a law they're line. four years of support. That was the storyline. And they learnt their mistake, and then what they did with the Dear Bell Star is bring out things that are aligned with story, but have nothing to do with each other archetypally. Snake Eyes was the only time, and they fucked that up. <laughs> There's ah, too okay. much synergy. That's okay. Anyway, uh, for the TCG, we have some confirmed cards uh, and rarities and things uh, for Infinite Forbidden. Uh, I don't know if this was discussed last week. I, I don't think, think so. I think it was. We definitely discussed the rarities. I don't think we discussed the fact that Link 2 is in here. Yes, so, uh, what's her name? Moon of the Closed Heaven has been confirmed for release in Inf- Infinite Forbidden, and it appears to be a super. Cool. Budget card. Yeah, budget card. That budget card for... Other, that adds like $60 <laughs> to every other card in the set. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Imagine yep. printing a $2 card that increased... Everything else by a massive amount. Really? Um, so being that the pre- I almost would have just rather it also be a secret. It would make just more so sense, it's shiny. Um, so yeah, yeah the... Maybe. Sorry, I'll keep going to speak. Um, so being that the pre-release is this week, it's likely that the YouTubers and people will start opening boxes at some point this week. Uh, Did so, yours arrive yet? No, so I watched the MST.TV video on this today. Mm-hmm. Uh, at which he admitted that he has known this card was in the set for weeks. Oh. He was like, sorry, I've been telling you guys it's maybe or maybe not in the set. I've known for weeks. Interesting. And I was like... Oh, so there we have it. Okay. 
So I, I think he also, because he works for Konami, he was probably told. Oh, okay. whatever. So, just a quick... <clears throat> this seems shady, but he was, they were probably told to produce content along the lines of pushing Fiend Smith being at full power. Well, the other thing I'm thinking as well is that, like, I always just assumed that they would get the boxes within, like, a week or two before the release. They'd record their content and that'd just sort of float out. But it would make more sense if they filmed it a lot earlier than that. It had to then go through Konami's censorship to make sure that they're happy with it all. And then it goes back to them once it's approved. I think they would have got the boxes last week. But I'm assuming, the way he said it, he is known for, like, the last month. Mm. Yeah. Interesting. He's, He's talked to Jerome and Jerome was like... Yeah, buddy. No problem. Yeah, him and Jerome got drunk at a bar and he let it slip. Drunk How Jerome, much information do you reckon bitch. Jerome would give if you told him you would be friends with him? Ooh. What? I reckon if you catch him at the right time, he'd probably, like, I don't know, send you the boxes that you deserve. Would he tell you the ban list? <laughs> I don't think he knows the ban list, to be honest. Nah, Jerome definitely knows the ban list. He's in charge. It Is would have been it? nice to have seen, like, if there was more fabled luries out there that we would have had a heads up on. Well, just that got, the markets got, moved. It got reprinted. Not yeah, so yeah. So it was like, did it? Yeah, they got reprinted like March last year. Oh, that um, yeah, okay. In the yeah. trash set, that's yep. Yep. Yep, yep, all yep, of yep, a sudden yep, yep, yep. not a trash set. So yeah, it would have been good to see the market move on that, but just there's so little out there that because we'll be like, whoa. Mm. I have my one fabled lurie. I mean, in theory, you just second. need one. Yeah. Yeah. It's a nice tab to open. But probably only needed it one. I have mm. my nice shiny super rare. Oh, that's good. I should look through my stuff. Yeah, you should. I wonder how much they'll go up to. Because that set wasn't... There wasn't a lot. I mean, there was a, there was a fair amount, but I'm sure no, it was No one now. opened that side set. Because it was a trash fucking set. Where, I like... Did. I got a, I got a trish on it. Skill Drain was the only <laughs> reason people were cracking it. It was like skill drains a ten dollar card oh, yeah, out of this skill, set. Yeah, I got the skill drains. Well. So like, everyone's cracking it just for that, and then all of a sudden they had Fabled Lurie in it, and there was another card in there that just became like a meta staple. Um, didn't put the Gen X. In there, didn't right. put the Gen X in there. But uh, yeah, so that set now went from being on clearance at places for like five to ten dollars a box, and now it's back to full price. So yeah, missed the window. Uh, and then finally on some news, we got the full effects of a V-Jump that was announced a couple of weeks ago. Yeah. The uh, Performer Pal Sky Magician Girl. It's not a pendulum monster. It is not a pendulum. It is a level 5 wind spellcaster effect. Wind's weird. Wind is weird. But uh, effect is not too bad. Um, really? So attack 2000, defense 15. Uh, if you control a continuous spell, you can special summon this card from your hand. If this card is special summoned from the hand, you can send one level 4 or lower light spellcaster from your deck to the graveyard. Uh, if this face-up card leaves the field, you can target one spell trap on the field, destroy it. How can this card go wrong? Milling light spell casters from deck. Mm, historically, a great effect. Hey. Um, this works better in Perform Mage. It's probably... Well, yeah, yeah that, I think that's kind of the point, is that although it says Perform a Pal, it is kind of meant to be a Perform Mage. Bullshit. It should have been a Pendulum also. Yeah, like, I don't see what this is really doing for, for Perform Pal. The fact that it's a level 5 is also stupid. Also, the continuous spell. Like, if it was just a face-up... Actually, if it was just a face-up spell, it might have been, a, like, it might be busted. But, yeah. Well, I, the last two V-Jump promos have been really good, haven't they? Um, well, at least the clo- Goddess was. <laughs> oh, yeah, the, um... The Drake. The Photon Drake, or whatever it was. Yes. Was the Final Fantasy Dragon also... Final Fantasy Dragon? The little fusion... Um, is that a V-Jump promo? Uh, yeah, I think it was. Another good V-Jump promo. Cards Boston. I won't tell you why. Continue, Jim. Well, we continue on to questions. So if you weren't aware, we do have a Discord. Link will be in the description below. Feel free to jump in, say hi, and ask us questions. Our first one this week comes to us from Caleb. Uh, formerly, we'll shift to you. Uh, what is formerly, your... whatever name is changed his name to of that week. <laughs> yeah, you do change your name a lot. Just calm it down. Um, what is Who your... Do you want? He, cha- he, changes, he, <laughs> he changes his name every week, but if you click it, it still just takes you to a page that says, "We will, I will shift oh. you. Mm-hmm. I always change his full Discord name. Yeah. Not just his server name. So, uh, first uh, question from Caleb this week. Uh, what is your favourite game outside of anything to do with Yu-Gi-Oh? I play basketball. 
I, I mean, I'm, I'm, I have been on a basketball court. <laughs> I, <laughs> Frank I have attends stepped. basketball. <laughs> <laughs> There's uh, cheerleading, right? No, he steps on the court. He's doing great. Better than Lachlan. Wow. I mean, there was a big break in between, but we've been just shitting a Lachlan. Too small to understand Shino He's not going to watch the podcast to, to know. Imagine one day he just like, I don't know, gets COVID because it seems to be one of the two things he does. And, and he just binges podcasts. all the podcasts. I wish I cared about Yu-Gi-Oh as much as I cared about defending people in basketball. There's just something there where I'm like, hmm. When Bragg flicks the switch, that switch is flipped. Mm. You're seeing we'll does someone need to do the whole Sandra Bullock speech to you from Blindside to get you to care more about Yu Gi Oh? I barely forget that. You gotta block a man to the bus. Do it. She was problematic, that character, right? Oh, that only came out after that she was problematic. Oh, yes. Yeah. Because, like, the guy was like, yeah, no, it didn't happen much like this at all. Waited, like, a good happen... eight years to say so. <laughs> <laughs> it didn't happen much like this at all. They had full financial control over. All of my sponsorship deals. <laughs> Anywho, uh, my favourite game. Um, for a long time, it was Final Fantasy. I would say now it's probably Kingdom Hearts. Um, I think I was at my parents' place for my birthday and I forgot to get my PS4 back so I could play it again. Oh, well. If um, we're talking video games, Bragg plays Pokemon Go. Every day. Playing right now? Mm, not right now. When's New York Go Fest start back Next up week. today? Oh, wait. Oh, it's... Uh... Mm, now. <laughs> so, isn't it 2 day? Yeah, yeah, sorry. No, it's 3. And um, whenever, six, whenever 5 a.m. their time is is when we get invites again. Okay. 5 a.m. New York time. Probably midnight-ish? Fuck. A bit later? When I woke up this morning, I left my phone open. No one invited me. I was like, hmm. Oh, all your American friends. I don't have that many American friends. I think all of my American friends are like from fucking L.A. and... The deep south. Interesting friends that. Um, yeah. And we're going raft. <laughs> uh, Frozen Acetylene asks, with the release of the Fiendsmith cards Sorry. and... Hi, Frozen Acetylene. <laughs> I wasn't sure if he's new. Hmm? I don't, wasn't sure if you'd asked a question before. No, he has. Cause yeah, yeah. Because uh, yeah, yeah. I used to pronounce it wrong. Mm-hmm. Ah, now I remember. I've said this a couple of times, but for a man who has supposed eidetic memory, you forget a lot. Well, I have to think, man. There's too much stuck in here. <laughs> anyway, uh, Frozen Acetylene asks, with the release of the Fiendsmith cards and Moon of the Closed Heaven, is it accurate to say that the Fiendsmith engine is the new two-card is full Orcus combo? Mm. I went on a rant about this at Locals today. It literally is, because you can just make Beatrice and send her up and send Harpora. Yep. It is back, we are back to having two card orcs combo meme. Yep. I'm so about it. <laughs> We're back. Sure. It's I, just going to cost ju- you $800 spend, yeah, to do it. I will it. just spend, I will spend $1,000 to send up. <laughs> I said to Chad, and Chad was like, as much as that's fun, I'm not spending that much money just to send up. <laughs> um, but yeah, it kind of does hark back to like two cards makes a nightmare or two cards makes uh the other one um what was the other busted link to we used to get on um it was any nightmare monster wasn't it no 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 the one after that um oh, i'm having a that, brain maybe. melt predator plane oh yeah ah any two oh, monsters yeah. is a dp Dragoon. Or a Dragoon. which is yeah dp kind of like this of what we have now it sucks someone used it in master Duel, I'm like, all right <laughs> I mean, to be fair, I, there's a guy at Locals playing mm. Heroes at the moment, and the other day, uh, I was playing against him, and he just refused to activate his DPE, and I'd played around the DPE so much that I lost. Oh. I'd backed myself into a corner and was just like... Uh, I lose. <laughs> it's not his DPE that gives me the problems, it's the fact that he, like... I think the first match he doesn't, like, remember what I play. And then the second and third matches, he's like, Oh, this guy likes to put stuff in the bin. Uh, anyway, Dark Lore. <laughs> Just yeah. fucks me up every time. <laughs> um, yeah. But yeah, it is going to be very much like that. You're going to see, uh, kind, like, a lot of sort of janky lists just sort of whack a Beatrice or, like, the um, DDD Xyz on the board at the end of the turn. She's okay. Yeah. Salad game. Mm. Best salad, almost. I mean, it's better than normal salad. Don't 
don't want to listen to you about salads. Yeah, you ate both of them. When was the last time you ate or played salad? I ate salad. Would, uh, you, rather, on would you rather eat salad or play salad? Oh, eat. 100% eat. Wow. Yeah, because you can get a rocket salad with like parmesan cheese and a bit of olive oil in it. It's can delicious. salad not just two kinds? It's combo? rocket code talker. Oh, yeah. Wait, is that what it's called? Rocket? Code rocket? I don't know. There's a rocket salad card. There is. Yeah. Wait, no, it's not rocket salad. It's rocket, salad. Co- it's it's rocket code. It's, it's, yeah, which yeah. is different from salad. Yeah, it goes in salad. No, it doesn't. Yeah. It's, not, it's not fire type. It does not go in salad. It's a, it's a level four or lower cyburst monster that's summonable off fucking uh, quick launch. Hmm. It is. Wait, and you can is make, it? Yep. Oh, yeah, because it just coder. needs rocket. It doesn't need anything else. Anyway, very much off topic at the moment. Uh, next question Combos. is yeah, from Rai Guy. Uh, I don't think this was asked last week because yeah. he was asking about it. Uh, what deck, what's a deck rather, that you miss playing? Uh, I tried, have been trying to replay my old decks that I miss playing and realized that they should be left in the past. <laughs> <laughs> That's why we're going to do the 10 years thing. Yes. Oh, yeah. Ten yeah, you did tell Yu-Gi-Oh. me about this. Yes. Yeah. We're looking at doing 10 years Yu-Gi-Oh! where you play exactly 10 years ago to the day. Whatever the ban list is, whatever the set releases are, that's what you play. Um, that'll give us a nice time to reminisce. Um, Another eventually one. we'll get to Dragon Maids being playable again. <laughs> when we're 47. Um, just quickly. Jake, that's not too far off. Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> you fucking bitch. Anyway, what I was thinking as well is like doing like just a wheel of time frames and like definitive formats and like rather than just playing the meta of that format you have to play whatever deck you were playing at that time no because i thought of this i remember we tried this during covid Did and we? if the wheel spun up a format that people didn't like they just didn't play mm, that's true so you ended up in like issues of like only four people wanted to play every like tournament because it was like we were doing like like friday nights or like every second sunday or something where yeah, you put I all the old formats in the wheel and spin the wheel, and then if people didn't like that format, they just wouldn't play in the tournament. Um, really? Yeah. Really splits the field and shows who's weak. Yeah. Mm. Played right. every one of those tournaments. Mainly because I was hosting them. <laughs> Mainly because it was what I was doing. Um, yeah. Deck I miss playing, uh, Metaphys. I miss Metaphys. But you were playing it yesterday! I mean, I was trying to play it yesterday. Then people want to go in there with their meta and nonsense. Ah, uh, okay. But you're playing meta. It's literally in the fucking name. Yeah, yeah, but the P-H-Y-S at the end means anti. Ah. Uh, I forgot. Anyway. Break. Mm. I don't know. My yeah, Cosmo is like the first one that comes to mm. mind, but even then, yeah, I don't know. There's a time and a place for everything. I'll play the retro formats and stuff, but I don't look back and go, oh, I wish I could play that again. Like, it depends on what you define by missing. Like, I mean, I miss Thousand Eyes of Strickland, good. I miss Goki. We're, of course we're, you miss fucking Goki. Yeah, I, I miss just, like, fucking Throwing just vomiting shit and board, shit yeah. just kind of happens, and he's like, oh, that's cool. I miss... Because that deck had so much shit that activated fucking constantly. And seemed so free to play, but if you like missed something or did something at the wrong time, you just lost. Like as much as it seemed like a <laughs> threw my hand at the board deck, like if you miss sequence something, you, too bad you lose. I like that deck. That deck was problematic. It was like the worst thing ever in that format. The oh, you're mystic. starting with fuck all in hand. Haha. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. I ripped two and you linked you. Oh, you sphere moded me. Anyway, summon raw from deck. You weren't actually playing Ra. I was you? citing one copy of Ra, Fuck so that if, I, if I was going first, <laughs> everyone was citing Sphere Mode because that was the only way to break the U Link. So I'd be like, okay, cool, no problem. Anyway, Ra, uh, this is now threatening game. <clears throat> uh, next question comes to us from Six R Six. In fact, the rest of our questions come to us from Six R Six. Thank you. How many different sources do you regularly use slash have in your fridge slash pantry? I have four. <laughs> But we're about to get a new fridge. Yeah. At which point, I'm gonna have five. We've hit it. Yeah. Oh, that's the new appliance you were talking yes. about. Yeah. Yes. Critical mass on the yeah. on the source shelf. We're T minus. Which is weird because I don't put sources in the I don't, fridge. I don't put sources in the source shelf because our source shelf is being held on with duct tape. Yeah. 
tape. <laughs> Leggy tape. <laughs> Electrical tape. <laughs> Sorry. It's even worse. I don't know how it's... It's been, it's been hanging on for a while. I had, to, for a free fridge. I had to put a sauce there once and went... Oop. Yeah. <laughs> Just slowly close the fridge. Anyway, rearrange what I needed to rearrange. Put it back. I emptied the shelf. Like I was like, "This, this shelf's not this shelf." No one's using this shelf, and then the stuff started appearing there again. I'm like, "Hmm." Our whole door is unusable. (laughs) Yeah, the whole door in our fridge is unusable. The the top two little uh, things in there. The things where the cheese and egg and butter goes. Yeah, they. they, I mean, I've never once put cheese and egg and butter there. But we'll have a T minus two weeks to the new fridge, guys. Be be ready for the new fridge review. What color is it? Uh, Either gray or black. Mm. Do you know what the fuck we're going to do with this one? Yeah, throw it off the balcony. <laughs> yep. Good luck, Italian restaurant. <laughs> um, so, admittedly, I don't have a great range of sauces for myself. Uh, the ones that probably get used the most are barbecue and soy. What kind of barbecue? Well, I've oh, got. So to... I didn't count soy. Add soy to my. I have six. I'm going to have six sauces soon. I've currently got five. So it's just normal barbecue sauce that I use on the regular. Uh, it's not a smoky then, barbecue, it's just regular sh- barbecue. How about you, let me finish. Uh, there is a uh, Sweet Baby Ray's barbecue in there as well, mm-hmm. but I tend to only use that one every so often just so that the taste is nice. It's like a sweet sort of barbecue sauce. Um, you don't I think, spam a sauce until it's gone and then just go, yeah, I'm sick of this sauce and change sauces. No, in actual fact, uh, there was a point where we had three bottles of normal barbecue sauce and neither of my brother and I remembered buying the extra bottles. My parents give me a bottle of barbecue sauce every year. That's a weird ass birthday present. You should probably ask for socks. No, so like they buy those Crisco packs. And you get the barbecue sauce. But they normally buy a pantry filler one and give it to me. You don't get like a chicken? What? Oh no, you said the pantry filler one. Yeah. Yeah. There's one where you can get like effectively a meat basket. No, you don't buy those from them. No, well, you wouldn't, but you I will, don't know what you do. You will die. <laughs> <laughs> this question doesn't apply to me. I don't put my sauce in the fridge. He said pantry how as many, well. How many fruit sauces do you own? One at the moment. One smoky sauce? Smoky barbecue? Yeah. Okay. Just one sauce? I have a tomato, I have smoky barbecue, I have mustard, well, and I have a chipotle, and I have Since I have sauce. them in the, in the uh, pantry, there's usually a high turnaround. Mm. Go smash through it, or else, yeah. The bacteria makes you stronger. Yes, just like the alien cards. I don't know, I'm trying how, to reference this to Yu Gi Oh! here. How, how many egg counters does your barbecue sauce have? <laughs> oh, I would love some aliens. Do it right. Oh, I was supposed to buy. Just retrain. Don't, don't re- keep alien counters, but do the rest different. Yeah, this, this is just a general thing moving forward on old support. Don't try and reinvent the wheel, just make what is already there better. Do what you did with oh. fucking 6 Am. It's all centering around the same Let's shit. Give the better cards. God, just so move them up. Just include A counters and then just go to town. That's what I reckon. They need something that doubles the amount of A counters on the field. Mm. Every time an A counter is placed, double all A counters on the field. Or is there a way for them to. Do they have a wing that, con? That feels like an infinite loopy kind of thing. Mm. But they do have a uh, win con. The link is effectively like skill drain for everything they have. And then there's a card that's like tribute and alien and everything that gets summoned gets an A counter. Okay. Anyway. Anywho. Um, that's enough n- alien talk. Next 6x6 six six question. How big is too big for a lap dog? Well, a 30 kilo Beagle Harrier is a tough carry, but you can, you can manage. Any higher than that, I think will be struggling. A mid-sized border collie. I don't think that there's a ceiling for this for me. I would have a Newfoundland as a lap dog. Really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I love big dogs. Small dogs can get in the fucking bin. <laughs> I'm not going to make the joke. You should also let it pass. I don't know what joke he's talking about. Neither do I. Yes. Bragg definitely doesn't know. <laughs> Uh, what is your favourite way to get warmth back in your bones? Booze. I never get that warm from drinking. Really? I hate up like nothing else. I was, it'll be like six degrees, I'll be like... I thought he said boost. I was like, why does going to boost juice? Boost juice, <laughs> yeah. Bones warm up. The protein chalky really gets me going. Um, I just arrive in pain until eventually my bones reset temperature. 
I have a lot of I have a lot of metal in my body. Just drink more. It doesn't help. I've got a lot of metal in my body, and it changes temperatures at different rates to the not metal in my body. You should unfreeze. It's your... very painful. You should unfreeze your acetylene. <laughs> yes. Uh, sure. For me, it is uh, coffee slash hot chocolate. Oh. There's nothing quite like a hot chocolate. I've got natural installation, so this isn't a problem. If not, it's going to be. I am constantly cold. <laughs> uh, okay. Destroy your metabolism. That's all I can I've been tell. trying. And then last question. In your heart, what is the superior type of mandolin? Uh, mandarin, rather. Fruit. <laughs> that would have been the most random question. Yes. Of this niche musical industry, oh, yes. which is the best. I think it's trying to cast the mandolin. <laughs> I think that Trevor is the best mandolin. Uh, I don't eat fruit, so this question isn't for me. I didn't. No, there's other mandarins. Are we talking like oranges as well? Like, well um, is so mandarin a species of origin, uh, or, orange, or is it the other way around? There's the mandolin from Iron Man three. Oh, then yeah, there's the yeah. mandolin. Oh, that's a from, bad mandolin. Um, Trevor's a great mandolin. Um, yeah, He's my from, favorite mandolin. He was great. That was um, great in um, Shang Chi. Yeah, yeah, the mandolin in Shang Chi oh, yeah. is also the other mandolin. Um, I'm not sure if they had a third <laughs> mandolin in Wombat that thing. short. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I forgot about the one back. That movie sucked when it came out, but the more content I've seen in the last eight years, that movie is not that is, bad. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Did that one bad thing have two asses? I think so. Okay. It was in fact an ass face. <laughs> <laughs> it's a two ass to one bat. I want to see a David Attenborough documentary, and here is the two ass one bat. That's pretty good. It wasn't bad, actually. I was surprised. <laughs> anyway, that Ooh. concludes us for this week. Thank you all very much for listening and watching. If you are watching long, feel free to subscribe. If you're listening, feel free to favourite. Jump into our Discord, ask us some questions, and we'll catch you all next week. Peace.